Hi, this is Maginonin. Here's my early review for Abattoir number three and Earth Saints and Sinners number two of five. Now, I'm not going to be very specific or show a lot because these books aren't out yet, but I wanted you guys to get the heads up for them because this way when you go to the comic store uh, tomorrow you can start to be on the lookout for them. Because uh, I think uh, you should, you'll, if you like horror, you're definitely going to like Abattoir. But what I'm going to do is I'll do uh, Earth first, Saints and Sinners. Now, with Earth, Saints and Sinners, I think, like, I think there's been some really cool things that are being done with in terms of the uh, the painted effect. Uh, normally, like with this particular style here, I still have issues with the way they do some of the backgrounds. But like, I love the fire effects here, and uh, for example, like the cityscape back here, and finally over here. Um, I think this was like a really, this is this was like a really spectacular page, uh, in terms of perspective, uh, detailing, and um, th it just shines. Now, my only complaint so far about this is issue's art is it overall it has this general color tone to it, so it you know it's kind of like hard to distinguish. Uh, between the different scenes because it, it all kind of has that same color to it and I just wish that they selected maybe a different color palette for scenes like for an example in the AOK -OK saloon you know it still almost kind of looks like everywhere else so it's hard, harder to distinguish the um, locations now this is a more of a background issue so this is a, actually a good jumping on part uh, because it's not really advancing the story too much in the sense of, you know, telling you what's going to happen next. Uh, this basically talks about uh, the past with Josie and um, Earp and those guys. Now, um, overall, this issue is really, really good. And I really, I have to be careful because uh, there's some random bits of nudity and I don't want to accidentally pop on it. Uh, but... I thought overall, like I said, this issue was pretty good. I like actually I like this one better than the first one, uh, just because it, we got more of a background, and um, and I guess I, in a way I'm almost getting used to the names Wild Herb and Cassidy and things like that. But I just wish they never used those. Just wish they used their own names rather than just take from the past, you know, past stories and stuff like that. Um, there's not a lot of action in here, so if you're looking for action like there was in the first issue. That it does, it's not in this one. Uh, but like I said, this is more background information and um, who is trying to establish who these characters are and where they came from, how they met, at least with Josie at least. Um, overall though, I thought this was a decent read. Uh, and um, it's, you know, it actually kind of, like I said, surprised me a little bit because normally that wouldn't, I would not have given this a second look on a shelf. Now, with Abattoir, I really, really like um, this issue. It's things are finally starting to to progress, and um, it's it's basically you know you have the city like before you had this they just kept harping on okay there's this guy uh, Jebediah that wants to buy this house and for whatever reason you know you know they don't want to sell. And even though they're being told, the guy's being told, you know, you gotta sell, you gotta sell. Now, the problem here is, um, like Richard should have just sold the house, but he he was being being really stupid, and I don't blame him for being stupid in this because there's something was fishy. So, anyways, um, Richard's on the run, and right now what this issue is doing is it's establishing uh, what's going on. Uh, he, as he's investigating this, investigating uh, Jebediah and um, trying to figure out what's going on. Now, this guy's been around basically longer than he should have been. And, you know, he, technically this guy should be dead. He's been around for a couple hundred years. And he's buying houses. And there's, you know, like I said, there's something, something really weird is going on. And... Um, they're dangling that horror element a little more. Now this really makes it look like you're going to see zombies and whatnot, but you really don't. Um, but 
I, I like the way this is progressing. It's it's deepening the mystery, and so far I think uh, this this is it's good. I mean, it's different than a lot of the other like horror comics that are out there that you know like, just rely on gore and things like that to tell a story. Um, I really do like the cover. No, like well, even though like I said, you look at this and you're thinking, oh, there's many zombies. There's not. But if you look at the general, uh, the way the cover's laid out, you have Jebediah in the background, the stairs, it just kind of looks really creepy, and you got the hangman's news coming from the top, and, you know, overall, like I said, this was really, I thought this is really pushing um, the miniseries. Uh, it, I think because this was like a six-issue miniseries, this really need to happen when it did. Otherwise, I think I would have been sitting there going, come on, come on, come on while the ending just would have just probably popped up. Um, overall, I think this is a really, really solid read. This one, like I said, if you're looking for some action, something a little bit different, it's not it's not too bad so far. I'm curious to see where it's going to go, but um, so far this is my pick out of the two. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, let me know. Uh, rate the video up or down, let me know what you think. And uh, tomorrow is new comic book day, so be on the lookout for that. And um, Radical... Just so you guys know, is having some sort of contest. I'll leave the link uh, to go to, so you might want to take a look at it. Where uh, there's like a free trip and uh, some music festival that you can go to in California. So uh, keep an eye out for that, and um, I'll have more reviews up. So until next time.